Hi there, this is Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com and today I'm going to give the book review of Stephen Hawking's Brief History of Time. Uh, 1988 was when Brief History of Time was actually published. I think I was just 10 years old then. 1999, at the age of 20, I purchased it. I purchased this book and it was just in my house. And 2012, that is today, I finally got the courage to pick up the book and read it. Now, why did it take me nearly... 13 years to you know to read this book i guess i was scared i mean uh, he's such a great mind he, he is so unbelievably such a great man um, and if you're talking about subject like physics if you're talking about a subject where you're contemplating the universe you tend to have your your saboteur or your uh, the evil little voice that says no you would not understand this book so after years of struggling, I finally picked up this book and I read it. And after reading it three times, because I could not understand it, I, I kept getting lost. I'm sorry, you know, I'm not that bright. Um, I was finally able to nail down uh, the basic premise or the basic understanding of this book. Now, uh, I've just written down a few notes, you know, just, just to make sure that I'm I'm, I'm talking sense. Now, what this book talks about is a mixture of physics, cosmology, the history of the universe, how light travels, black holes, the event horizon, uh, time travel, uh, Einstein's uh, theory of relativity, and uh, uh, you know, time travel, the Big Bang, and you know, if in case you thought that I was speaking to you on all Hollywood uh, um, science fiction movies. Um, let me also add up a few more theories which he has given. The string theory, quantum mechanics, Doppler's effect, quarks, neutrinos, leptons and the membrane theory. Now apart from, uh, apart from all this, I, I would say the fundamental reason why Stephen Hawking is so admired is because it was only after Aristotle, Galileo, Darwin and Newton do we have a living legend among the, amongst us who can really, really make you think and the thing about the thing that really stands out about him is even though he has Lou Gehrig's disease uh, or ALS, uh, crippling disease, where his motor functions, uh, you know, slowly get destroyed, where he cannot move any muscle in his body. And today, if he has to communicate, he's doing so with the aid of a computer, uh, his, uh, which studies the movement of his eyes and his one finger. That's it. He is able to type out one word after the other, just one word at a time. He has come out with this amazing theory and he keeps coming out with even more theories, calculations and uh, discoveries. I mean, how much more uh, would it take for a person to look up to someone and say, wow, I'm really impressed. So Stephen Hawking is truly a legend amongst us. And I think we need to have that deep sense, that gratitude that he is coming and giving us uh, he's coming forth and giving us something really worthwhile to think about. So his book was an absolute masterpiece. I mean, I really had to struggle to uh, understand some of the theories. I'd, I'd be honest about it. But uh, still, the simplicity by which he has made something, uh, something like physics, which is so profound and deep, I think in itself is a great achievement. So uh, in a nutshell, if I were to say, that this is a must-have book. You must have this book. You must keep it with you. Uh, and uh, you must read it. You must read it to understand the depth of science, to understand that there is a, there is a logical reason uh, to the things we cannot understand. And simply stating that, oh, it was made by magic or presto is the easy way out. So having said that, uh, I would say um, Stephen Hawking's book, A Brief History of Time, as a masterpiece if i could give this book 11 out of 10 i would have uh, but since i have to give it uh, you know a standard logical rating i would say it is a 10 out of 10 please go and do yourself a favor buy this book and if you can make your children read it i think you must ladies and gentlemen this is lawyer speaking to you from lawyer thank you for watching